Each year, upon the recommendation of an appointed faculty committee, the president of the Florida State University presents a Robert O. Lawton Distinguished Professor. This is the highest honor that the Florida State University gives a faculty member for scholarship, research, teaching, and service. Robert Lawton was the Vice President of Student Affairs for a number of years and uh, obviously a very distinguished professor. Uh, people loved him. That's why this award was named after him because he was such a distinguished professor and his faculty members really held him in high regard. When I met him, it was 1956, and so he had already been here seven years. He taught English and was a very popular teacher and Paul Reynolds, who was, was the Dean of Arts and Sciences at that time, saw something in Bob that he liked, and he asked Bob if he would like to teach in the FSU bootstrap program, and Paul Reynolds made him the director. And when Paul retired shortly thereafter, Bob was made the Dean of Arts and Sciences and he made his fame as the dean. And Lawton was a scholar, making sure that what we were doing was always top notch. Whether it was in teaching or research, he always encouraged people. He was always full of news about how great FSU was doing. And in 1972, we took our contract monitor to Lawton, as we normally did, uh, and something wasn't right. Lawton was preoccupied. So Bob was uh, our dean, and then uh, Stanley, for whatever reason, didn't like him and fired him. So there was tremendous turmoil. Uh, it was chaos at the university for that period of time. He went back to the English department took up scholarly work, and he wrote and published a book, and he uh, was an excellent teacher. First of all, let me say that, that Bob Lawton was an extremely charismatic individual. Everybody liked him. He always had a smile on his face. At one point, uh, I was a full-time English professor, and then Bernard Sliger became president of Florida State University and appointed uh, Bob Lawton, his provost and vice president, and he also needed a, a, a part-time assistant, which was yours truly. And then the uh, collective bargaining unit was signed here, and suddenly we were a unionized campus. And Bernie said, uh, David, why don't you take over that? And I was in way over my head, and then Bob came along. And he, he, he just bound the university together, and, and he stayed as provost until 1980 when he was tragically killed in an automobile accident. We were shocked when we just heard that Lawton passed away. Uh, there's, there's no telling what he, he could have become. I, you know, he, he, he died much too young. It hit the campus hard. I was chosen by Bernie Schleiger to prepare some kind of a memorial for Bob Lawton. The committee decided to make it a celebration. He represented excellence in the university and what could be more related to excellence than the distinguished professor that was appointed every year. And so, hence, the professors have been known as Robert O. Lawton professors. They all understand what an important award it is, and to be chosen by their colleagues, you know, that's, that's what makes it, I think, even more special. In order to be a Lawton professor, you have to be a tenured professor, you have to have been here 12 years, so there's a lot of things, that, and then the criteria that go into it, you know, distinguished scholarship, research, uh, community service, all of those things. They, uh, they are an elite group of, of faculty members. He was a model administrator who 
felt like that the center of the university was the faculty. They didn't work for the president and the provost. The provost and president worked for them. But it was always nice to know that there was somebody who really believed in the university at the top level. Well, he just set an example that is, is, is still there, but, but people don't know it's there, and they don't know where it came from, but it all comes from Bob. This was a man who made everybody else better. He understood excellence and said, we are going to be excellent. We were just lucky to have him.